think so. I'll ask it as a side as an ally to take. Good afternoon to all of you. I want to particularly emphasize this week. I know how not only is it a historical and important week, it's a very busy week. And I'm extremely grateful to each of you, not just for the institutions you represent, but you as individuals finding time to come and join us at this event. Of course, the events this week in Paris are in France, but they're significant for the world. And the idea that we started in Malaysia is also here in Paris, and we think is also of significance to the world. And we very much hope that everybody in this room and your networks and partners will appreciate that interest and importance and contribute to this effort that we would wish for a global action plan for agricultural diversification. And let me try and give you the context. This is Planet A, and Planet A includes you and me and about 7.3 billion people. We also share it with about a million species of animals and about half a million species of plants. So it's rather odd when we look at Planet A which of course is home, that we depend on so few plants and few animals for that matter for our agriculture and for the sustain, uh, support of 7.3 billion people. Uh, there is no planet B, so we have to make use and, and actually live on this planet. Now here are the sustainable development goals, and we see the sustainable development goals of relevance to agriculture. Six we can identify, energy, consumption, life on land, zero hunger, climate change, and a partnership for the goals. The purpose of the Declaration for Agricultural Diversification is to look at those six goals in terms of how they relate to agricultural diversification. Clean energy, uh, responsible production systems, diversification of systems on land, species that we can actually go beyond the big three crops, and of course, a hotter world. And this is where we have a challenge because there is no plan B for planet A. And that is the initiation of a global action plan that will provide a new paradigm for agriculture beyond our entire reliance on the big three crops and a monocultural system of agriculture. And thank you, Saeed, for the um, invitation to, to speak here. But um, more importantly, thank you for initiating this really uh, worthwhile global initiative. I think it's much needed. CABI um, is an intergovernmental, not-for-profit organisation, and we represent 48 member countries worldwide. Um, what we do is provide information um, and apply scientific expertise to solve problems in agriculture and the environment. Some farmers around the world are already innovating, and we can learn from them. We can help many others with very simple techniques of agronomy, but we can also help them through diversifying the crop base that they grow. That diversification is, in many cases, good agronomy, helping to put nutrient, nitrogen, etc., back into the soil. But above all, it's a risk mitigation measure for many. It diversifies diet, it diversifies income risk, and it diversifies climate risk. So the diversification initiative that um, uh, GAPAD represents, I think is something that I'm very happy to sign our 48 member countries up to through CABI. Um, and I encourage others uh, to join this initiative uh, and wish it every success going forward. So thank you very much. Thank you very much and the opportunity to speak on behalf of uh, mountains and people. Uh, I'd like to convey my uh, warmest greetings from uh, Isimod and our member countries. Uh, that's uh, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, China, uh, India, Myanmar, Nepal, and Pakistan. So our countries are those and we serve the mountains in that area. The launch of the Declaration on Agricultural Diversification couldn't be more timely, especially when the world's eyes are on Paris. Today, agricultural diversification must be seen not as a choice, but an absolute necessity as we're moving forward. Uh, how we manage our agricultural diversity will have a direct bearing on future food security. At the same time, we must also promote uh, climate resilient farming practices 
and increase the research and development promoting this diversification. Finally, ISIMO applauds the leadership of crops for the future. Thank you, Syed, for taking this on. Uh, the role that we play in ERCA, our center is Association of International Research Centers for Agriculture, and we fully support this global action plan for agricultural diversity. So thank you very much for this opportunity. It is a great pleasure for the International Center for Bioseline Agriculture, ICBA, how we refer to ourselves, to participate in this important event of launching the Declaration on Agricultural Diversification. The road ahead to study, assess, and identify nutritious plant species with natural adaptation to hot climate and high yield potential is long and hard and would require considerable resources. But it is imperative if we want to meet the challenges of feeding 9 billion people with less resources under hotter climate conditions. The Declaration on Agricultural Diversification, Feeding a Hotter World, is very timely. And ICPA management and staff fully support this declaration. And we are convinced of its common benefit for all of us. And we look forward to collaborate with CFF and our ERCA partners on the next critical steps. And I would encourage you all to sign it. Thank you. Well, my name is Jose Joaquin Campos. I'm the Director General of CATIA. CATIA is a regional organization based in Costa Rica, but whose mandate is Latin America and the Caribbean. We are very pleased to be in, invited Sayed, to, to this event. I think it's, it's so important. And I congratulate CFF for bringing this. And uh, this is uh, agricultural diversification. It's a critical element of what ERCA is calling healthy landscapes. So I'm so glad and we are committed also to, to bring this uh, innovative uh, proposal to our member countries uh, that are from Latin America and the Caribbean. Uh, yesterday, some of you witnessed uh, the launch of a declaration also by the ministers of agriculture from Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and the Dominican Republic uh, to foster a south-south collaboration uh, on climate smart agriculture. I see this as a key component. Uh, ICRAF is engaged with us and many other partners and uh, I'm, I think this is a very good uh, initiative that we will include in our action plans uh, through this initiative and also to expand it to other countries in, in the region, Latin America and the Caribbean. So I'm so glad to be here and really looking forward to uh, uh, signing this declaration and participating in the next events that have been planned. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I think this is a most welcome and very timely initiative, and certainly the CBD Secretariat will give its full support to it. And uh, as you know, uh, uh, the convention is about diversity, right, at all levels, landscape, species, genetic diversity. Just recently, I signed a, a joint notification together with uh, the uh, uh, Commission on Genetic Resources of FAO, together with Biodiversity International and the International Treaty on on plant genetic resources, on the need to pay more attention for the conservation of wild crop relatives, which is the basis for the uh, uh, diversity of uh, all our crops. And so uh, what I want to share with you is that <coughs> the mainstreaming of biodiversity in the agricultural sector will be the main agenda item in the next COP in Cancun, Mexico, in a year's time. Certainly, there will be plenty of opportunities for us to work with all of you to see how best we can uh, get a good decision at that COP to uh, 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 give us full support for this initiative so that we can uh, get policy uh, support uh, at the highest, highest level for this initiative. Thank you very much. At a personal level, I'm deeply humbled to be in the same room with so many of the world leaders in agricultural research, and it's a great honor to be here. Um, this is an initiative that, that commenced in Malaysia, and uh, Crops of the Future, based in Malaysia, is supported primarily by the Malaysian government, um, led 
the creation of this declaration and plans for what for can add. But we always knew that this is something that was going to require partnerships and participation from, from our partners around the world, from, from governments, into governmental organizations, and the non-government sector must be a part of this. And, and, and so whilst um, we, we uh, acknowledge the importance of this, of this partnership, um, we, we have to, at the same time, I believe, um, thank the uh, government of Malaysia for its uh, uh, early and, and, and steadfast support of Crops for the Future, which enabled us to, to pursue this. So in that context, it's a great honour that I'd ask, please, uh, Zulkifli David Abdullah, who's from the Board of Trustees of the Tropical Rainforest Conservation and Research Centre, if you would please come and deliver the speech on behalf of Tun Abdullah Mabadawi, the former Prime Minister of Malaysia. Thank you. Distinguished delegates, let me first apologise on behalf of Tun Abdullah for not being able to be here at this time. I'm told he is actually on his way from COP21. Your presence here today demonstrates clarity of understanding on the inherent <coughs> risks of a warming planet and your dedication to join a global effort to secure a sustainable future for humanity. I cannot emphasize enough how important your presence here is today in publicly calling for action through the Declaration on Agricultural Diversification. A key element of the Declaration is the requirement for international effort to develop a global action plan for agricultural diversification, also known as GAPAD. To be successful, GAPAD must be participatory, open and inclusive. This plan would not be achieved where each of us is to work in isolation. The efforts to develop agricultural diversification initiatives and curb deforestation are within the sphere of recognition and emphasis of the government of Malaysia, a country with mega biodiversity and natural resources. And Malaysia, with its diverse strengths and capabilities, will commit to contribute to these efforts. Let us all work together towards a better future for humanity and our planet. Thank you very much. Thank you.